Hi, I'm Jackie from Crystal Herbs. Sam and I have just recorded our first video about essences and we'd love you to join us. We're talking about essences that help you connect more with that deep feminine space of creativity and inspiration, how to slow down and calm a busy mind, and some of the patterns that stop us from being able to do that. So join us for this exploration of the journey from the head to the heart. So I think many of us are kind of really looking at how we can deepen that connection with the divine feminine within us. Um, the beautiful virtues of creativity, beingness, um, nurturing. Um, life doesn't naturally supply that really often. Um, and especially at work, mm. um, personal lives. I think we're all looking for that inner part of ourselves that feels like it's so missing when we look out in life. Mm. Um, and that space feels like it's grounding more, doesn't it? It feels like it's coming into being. Yeah, and I think we're recognizing collectively that there's been a lot of imbalance and being busy doing keeping going, striving, succeeding, pushing out their kind of yang energy is rewarded, is expected. It's very much, um, we're driven to do that. And we get a lot of messages to keep busy, to be productive, to succeed, to keep, you know, to keep showing how worthy we are by how much we mm. do. And we're not given the same sort of messages about simply being, being still, dropping down, listening to that wisdom that comes in those quiet spaces and the amount of creativity and nourishment that come from resting, like really deeply resting mm. and knowing that it's okay to stop, slow yeah. down, stop, get quiet, listen. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think that's, it feels like that's an energy that's really being kind of birthed on the planet at the moment. Yeah. And we're, we're all being opened up to that energy. Yes. Um, and it, I think sometimes that feels really easy. It's an easy space to walk into. And other times it's a really challenging space to walk yeah. into. Because part of walking into that space means relaxing, slowing down, mm -hmm. stopping, um, embracing what's going on for us in the moment. I mean, yeah. so often we're, we're asked to just carry on. You're feeling this, you're feeling that, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Cover it over let's get the job done. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's not what we're being asked to do now. It's mm -hmm. like, it's when we're needing to move more into our hearts and to feel mm -hmm. that deep feminine, connected, nurtured space in our hearts mm -hmm. and kind of ground that yeah. here now. Yeah. And I, I'm excited about what it means for us as humanity, that we are giving birth to these aspects of our humanity that we maybe haven't had to access to for quite a while mm. so I think it's just a really exciting moment for us collectively as we drop more into that feeling knowing quiet deep space the imagination the dreams the possibility the beauty that will come from that when we are in our hearts and our bodies and we're not just in our busy minds and our you know our doing this all the time mm. yeah so I think it's it's a really beautiful shift we're in but also the nature of all shifts is that they're not always comfortable no it doesn't <laughs> always feel graceful inside does it no it really doesn't no. <laughs> sometimes it just feels it feels like being in a washing machine on a fast yeah. spin cycle or just it's it's tumult it's 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 messy and that's what the clearing process that often feels like. It feels messy because we're, we're getting in touch with parts of ourselves that we haven't wanted to feel into. Mm. Those old emotions that haven't felt safe or comfortable mm. to feel into. Um, <clears throat> and then as soon as we create the spaciousness mm. to feel into that, then all the pain comes up and all the hurt and all the difficult mm. patterns that we spend so long hiding from. Yeah. Um, so it's not an easy process, but it is so beautiful and graceful when we just flow with it. Yeah, and I think that kind of that journey to connect more deeply with our hearts and the beauty that we are here to give to the world. You know, we connect in with our hearts and a lot of our 
emotions or those patterns that keep us busy, that make it hard for us to stop and slow down and to really be with ourselves, they come to the surface and it's sometimes really uncomfortable, but actually quite often it's a relief because you're just mm. meeting it mm. and you're making space for it. And when you have that full permission to meet what's there, it usually shifts pretty quickly. Mm. It's usually the resistance that stops us from really deepening into that aspect of ourselves. And then when we make space to really feel into what's going on, it's like our heart forces expand and we feel that the love that is within us at all times and all that love and support that's around us and the way in which essences really amplify that because we have that vast love of nature in every mm. bottle of essences that reminds us of our own nature and why we're here and it you know we then access more and more of the creativity and the inspiration and that deep knowing of our hearts and that becomes our offering instead mm. of pushing and keeping busy and doing what we think we should be doing and moving on to the next thing and it's all very unconscious and it's very driven instead we drop into this slow deep connected quiet place and from there we can just create miracles and wonder Mm. Like that's why we're really here, surely. Yeah. Like, yeah. do you know why we're it's really here? It's for that depth of feeling, isn't it? Yeah. It's for that inner connection. Yeah. It's it's beautiful. It's profound. It's moving, um, and it's what life's really about. This is what yeah. we're here for. It's not the doing side of it. It's that inner mm. feeling. It's that connection. Yeah. It's that reconnecting with who we really are and all aspects of who we really are. Um, yeah, it's powerful. And that's what. That's what gives life meaning, I think. Mm. That kind of that heartfelt sense of um, connection to something vast and beautiful and infinite. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. there's a couple of essences that we were really contemplating that can mm. help with that shift from busy and doing to more of the being and Mm, being and trusting and creating and stepping yeah. really fully into that space of beingness and the void mm. and creativity mm. um, so I think you were particularly drawn to the sphere essence weren't you? Yeah so sphere is one of the platonic solid essences and I really love sphere and I love the deep wisdom that it holds and I particularly like it in the spray that you can spray around yourself and you can also spray it in your tongue um, and it just takes you into such a beautiful connected space and the sphere is that, you know, it's that shape, it's the circle, and within the circle there is everything. You don't need to leave the circle to strive and to do and to be busy. Everything exists within this space, within this void. And the sphere essence, I find, you know, if I'm feeling really scattered and all over the place, it just helps me connect back in, drop down, slow down, rest within my centre. And all the noise just sort of gets quiet like the noise and the busyness. And it's just this real sense of being in touch with something very rich, very replenishing, very creative. And this kind of creative, fertile void that tops up your creative well, new ideas and dreams and inspiration and ideas come through. And I just love how it helps me to feel more connected with the truth of myself instead of this idea I might have about things I need to do. It's like what really matters? What's really stirring in the deep? What are the soul forces that want to be dreamt into being? And I just find it such a deeply connective essence to take. It really opens up that space. Mm. Yeah, love That's it. beautiful. That's actually oh. shifting some stuff just listening oh. to you saying that. Um, I, I really like it in the spray form too. It's a one I often have sitting on my desk. <clears throat> and when I'm in kind of in that, needing to be more in that creative space or I find that I'm too in my head, mm. I'll just have a few sprays of it. And it's, it's so centering. Mm. And a word that we often kind of associate with the sphere is the void. Mm. It's that space of deep, dark connection. Mm. And I find spraying it in my auric field 
really puts me in touch with that space. Mm -hmm. And from that space, there's, there's that deep creativity, there's inspiration, there's ideas. Mm -hmm. um, it's like I don't have to go outside of myself yeah. for anything. It's just there. It's just inside. Yeah. And it's, it's lovely. So it's centering in, in such a deep and profound way. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a lovely essence to use, really. I find it very heart connecting and mm -hmm. very connecting with that deeper nurturing inner space. Yeah. Um, so that's the sphere essence, mm -hmm. just beautiful for putting you in that space. Mm -hmm. um, and the other essence we were looking at was um, the inner harmony essence. Uh, inner harmony is one of the divine harmony essence combinations. And it's a blend of um, deeper acting flower, gem and crystal essences. And it's such a good combination for um, relaxation. Um, so if you find yourself kind of um, overworking or too much in your head um, or too driven um, and kind of not able to find that deep space of peacefulness inside you because there's just too much going on, mm -hmm. the inner harmony combination helps just to really center you back in your own space. Mm -hmm. um, it quietens the mind and it, it really helps you just to, to be in a still space. And from that really still space, you can be in the moment. You're just here. Mm -hmm. Your mind's not in the future. It's not in the past. Um, it's not overworking. It's just still and quiet mm -hmm. and in that inner space. Um, so it's a different combination to the sphere. The sphere really helps you just to be there in the moment. Mm. The inner harmonies, it helps to, to clear through the underlying patterns that kind of mm. stop you from being in that space. Um, so if, it's, if those kind of issues are ones that you find that you've been working with a lot, um, then the inner harmony combination is great for kind of shifting it out um, over a longer term and helping you to find more kind of inner balance. Mm. And I think because it's one of the Divine Harmony essences, and I always think with the Divine Harmony range, I think of them as where the psychological meets the spiritual. <laughs> but it's like they, they tap into those, you know, maybe childhood patterns, beliefs, things we've absorbed from our families, our culture, ideas about being busy, being switched on all the time, all of that kind of doing energy which certainly mm. in my family is something that i absorb that's the way you have to be so sometimes there can be these patterns that come from really really young that we get snagged in and we just mm. get caught up in thinking this is the way to be or if you come from a family that are very um mentally orientated or scientific or great thinkers and intellects you know they live in the mind so it can be very hard to know that it's okay for you to to connect from a deeper, more creative space if the story in your family is the mind is mm, king, essentially. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's so much the story in our culture, in our society. So I really love how the Divine Harmony Essences really help touch into those old stories, the beliefs that we've absorbed, they aren't even conscious. There's stuff that's running the show and we don't mm. even know it's running the show. Yeah. So it really helps to open up some doorways of understanding and shine a light in some of those patterns that are running so that you can just lovingly see them and release them and the essences just help them move and shift and then instead of being stuck in that mentality that you think that's the only way to be something else becomes available a new possibility mm. of how you engage with life becomes available. Yeah, and it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it, it peels back the layers and you see a different way of being. Yeah. And life yeah. opens up and unfolds in different ways. And I often think of this combination as kind of moving from the head or the mind into the heart. Mm. And it's creating that peaceful place in the mm. heart from which, you know, we can create a different world. Yeah, yeah. Let's, mm, let's yeah. do it now, <laughs> from our hearts, <laughs> yeah. not from our heads. <laughs> mm. uh, thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed learning a bit more about sphere and inner harmony. Flower and vibrational essences are a fascinating subject, and you can find out more on our website 
at www.crystalherbs.com um, where you'll also be able to find out more about the sphere essence and the inner harmony essence um, along with a whole range of other flower and vibrational essences in the flower essence shop. <laughs>